12,400 pounds and really fits the bill of like new. This is an exceptionally well kept open range 376 uh, conversion flexible floor plan uh, with a very flexible front room you'll see when we go inside here at Haywood RV of Coldwater, Michigan. This is, this is how used RVs are supposed to be maintained. Now for no reason in particular, I usually start by facing the rear of the RV and then swinging around and ending in the front. But it's the front end of this RV that really sets it off. So here's a quick look at the living area. But I wanted to make sure we hit the business end of this thing first. Because I th I, I think one of the, the, the silliest things on this floor plan is actually the model number. People see FBH and they think bunkhouse. Does this look like a bunkhouse? Or does it look like a front living room? And that's what I think this floor plan is great. They should just call this the 376X. And we're an open range dealer. I mean, we have this floor plan brand new most of the time on hand. Um, and uh, by calling it an FBH, I think it's, it's just, it sells us one short. Could you use it as a bunkhouse? Yeah, you absolutely could. These are dual opposing trifold sleeper sofas. They open up, they don't quite kiss in the middle. So mom, dad, if you need to get up there and shut off the TV because the kids are arguing or being rowdy or whatever, you, you can do that. But you could also use this as a second bedroom as a guest room, as a game day man cave, lady cave. You could use it as a craft room, an office. You've got your own uh, refrigerator. You've got your own TV. We already talked about sofas. You've got your own half bath up here even. You've got a half bath upstairs in this thing so the kids don't have to go up and down stairs at night uh, and uh, disrupt anything. It's cool. I mean, this is a, this is a unicorn of a floor plan. There's, there's nothing else exactly like this out there. There's a lot of similar stuff in the industry uh, in general, but this is one of those very rare unicorns. Now, start looking at the storage up here. You've got uh, dual, huge floor-to-ceiling front closets, and these are deep. These are deep, deep, deep. The, uh, unlike a lot of fifth wheels, your front nose area, this is not used for washer-dryer prep. It's just used for big-time floor-to-ceiling hanging storage with shelves, and Something Open Range has done for a long, long time is what my grandfather called the Baptist Medicine Cabinet, where he would uh, keep the extra drinks and whatnot. You know, the stuff that, uh, I mean, Grandma knew they were there. But it was just kind of one of those things that they did. It was that dance that a married couple would have, where it'd make him feel like he was getting away with something, even though he knew that she knew, and she knew that he knew, and all this kind of stuff. Just the funny things that you see in life. You know, that's... I think that's a great example of marriage right there. <laughs> but again, the bigger uh, refrigerator, you've got dedicated dresser drawers. You can see the original manuals and package and everything that we give our clients here at Halet RV. Um, we, you know, we give them a nice uh, little like carrying case to be able to keep all their manuals in. I also like the fact that every room in this just has a light switch for your main cabin. Also, this is an extra wide door. Big door for going in and out very, very easily and comfortably. You don't have to like go sideways to get in or out of it. Now, back here in the living area, the main living cabin. So this is, you could look at this like a two bedroom efficiency apartment with a shared middle kitchen living area. It's in a way you could kind of look at it like that. Now, what we have here is uh, an industry fairly exclusive thing, terribly uncommon, is that first of all, we have a wider body. This is a hundred inch wide body as opposed to 96 inch standard body. But then to really sink it home, they give it a six inch deeper slide out. That's a 42 inch slide, not a 36. So this is nearly a foot wider than a standard fifth wheel. That's a huge, huge difference. You can see and feel immediately. Now, Open Range has used a few different um, of these U lounges over the years. This was built during a period, you might notice these little handles down here. It actually has a recliner style kick out. And I know what you're thinking. You're looking at these cushions going, uh, I can't sit on that. Well, you can because these cushions aren't exactly anchored to anything. They're actually angled so that if you want to sit on here and kick your feet out like a lounge, you can. So you've got dual end recliners. There are dual um, dining tables that you can pop down here too. So if you want like a big open lounge like we have right now, you can. Or you can use one or two dining tables to give you normal or maximum 
uh, dining potential. You can actually sit and feed more people in this U lounge than any other arrangement. Very cool. The middle section is also a hide a bed with storage below the seating. Now, with six and a half foot tall walk in slide outs, that means that we have big windows, all of which open for breeze, and storage above. And speaking of Febreze, it smells Febreze fresh in here. This is clean, guys. This is exactly how you want used RVs to look, smell. I mean, it's like clean, got that, uh, that pine, saw, lemon scented freshness going on in here. Fresh. Uh, this right here is something that they no longer do that I actually really miss out of open range. Instead of a screen door, they had this giant window with an uh, airflow screen in it. But then you had this uh, almost floor to ceiling uh, like uh, mini blind nightshade on it, which is cool. Now, extra wide body allows for a little bit bigger island in here and you can see how it's got that toe kick. That's partially so that this extra deep slide out the carpet and can sneak right under the edge of that slide right there. Corian countertops, solid surface Corian countertops here in the kitchen with a recessed stainless double sink, um, high rise faucet, sprayer faucet, all that good stuff, electric space heating fireplace that, uh, you know, it's a space here, but we call it a fireplace, remote control. I found all the remotes for this thing. You can see all the original electronics are present. They weren't scavengers. They didn't take anything. These people had nice taste, you know, so why is this here? That's a good question. Why is this camper even here if it's so freaking cool? Well, the answer is they changed their lifestyle. They changed how they camped, so they no longer uh, needed this style of floor plan. It no longer fit them. They swapped this out for a big 3720 rear living Montana here at Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Just tons of storage and everything. It's a beast. Uh, never mind. This is not about that model. Anyway, all stainless appliance bundle, 23 cubic foot residential refrigerator with 1,000 watt inverter. Um, little detail stuff like this is pretty cool too. How I call this the, the pull out perfect pantry because the storage comes to you instead of you coming to the storage. Drawers galore, even, and it looks like a normal drawer, but it's actually a built in little wastebasket slide out here because you look at it where the handles might be like, oh, it's a drawer. No, it's not. Um, moving forward. Oh, Max Air Vent Fan right here, by the way, too. So if you are cooking up a storm in the kitchen, you can exhaust a lot of that heat. This has racetrack ducted AC, which is also known as a residential air return system. Up here in the bathroom, really cool thing I want to point out. Like, this is a massive cabinet. This, it, for a bathroom, this is a huge cabinet. But if you open them up, and don't get me wrong, all the storage is cool, but for folks who are looking for washer dryer, you got your hookups right there. You can put a combo matic in here, or you can sacrifice the cabinets, and you can put a stackable in here. You can do whatever you want with it, which is kind of cool. But you know what it kind of feels like to me? It feels like a little bit of like, a laundry room at home. Doesn't it kind of have that sort of feel like you might put a laundry hamper down in here and then you could, you know, fold some clothes or something up in here? I mean, it has that sort of look and feel to it. What I like here is in this wide body bathroom, they didn't go nuts with a too big shower. A lot of fifth wheels have oversized showers that they don't need. They're long, but they're not wide. Why do you need a shower that is five foot long and, and you know, I mean, I don't know about you, but I'm not five foot long from belly to back. I don't need a five foot long shower. I need a shower I can stand in. I can put my elbows up to my head. Well, I can put my hands on my head, which makes my elbows stick out and not hit anything. That's what this radius shower does. And because the shower pan is actually recessed into the floor, you've got all kinds of headroom in here. I mean, it's just not going to be a problem. I also like the positioning of the sink right here against this little corner pedestal wall right there. It, and the little shelf, the little open range touches, like the extra shelves they would use, those are the little things that have always won me over with these guys. The little weird touch details. Now this is a dual air conditioner unit. You can see the second AC here. What's funny is it actually is wired for a third AC, but you'd have to choose whether you run the bedroom AC or the front flex room AC. And that is just kind of silly. Now both air conditioners are tied into the central AC system. So you're going to be fine there. All original bedding, this 80 inch queen bed, so normal queen sheets are going to fit this fine. You've got your big open side stands right there. Somebody asked me the other day in the in a new 376, why is this big bench right here? What is that for? Right, that outside storage compartment that just has storage galore that we're going to see when we go outdoors. This is the top of it from the inside. Now, uh, across from me here, let me get over here in this corner and do the, the sideways shuffle. You've got just, a, this is your big closet slide out right here. And it is anything but small, which is why I called it a big closet slide out. Makes sense, doesn't it? Bonus dresser space in here, tons of hanging room. Everything makes sense. The only, I guess you'd call it a modification, 
is right here they mounted a flat screen to the wall and, but what's nice is they left the hardware behind. They took the TV that they added, because this didn't come with a TV in the bedroom. Um, so, I mean, again, the folks were not scavengers. They maintained this thing. It is clean. It is fresh. The exterior looks good. Speaking of which, let's go take a look at that outside, shall we? And just like the inside, the exterior is just gleaming clean. And I do mean gleaming. Uh, this is potentially cleaner than the day they first took it home. I mean, you can look at it, you can still see the gloss on the sidewall over here. Some interesting uh, open range, the reason I like them, the reason that we originally carried them here at Halo RV is just because they were different. Like, you're looking at this, you're like, 20 pound tanks? Really? Well, they use three of them. And they make the tanks slide out to you where they're easy to get to. There's another tank on the other side, so they're easier to exchange. <laughs> ah, the old pool noodle. That way you don't bust your noodle so to speak that's exactly what those are for pool noodles are like one of the best things that ever happened to camping you can cut those things at any size you want you slice them like these folks did you can slide them over uh slide ends and they're just awesome they're great for keeping kids from hurting themselves all kinds of things weird stuff like this baggage doors drop down instead of open up under that slide out because if they open up they're in the way if they drop down they're not makes sense right so this is, like I said inside, this is wide body with an extra deep slide out. That means it could be tipsy pretty easily, which is why they use those strong arm stabilizer jacks on there. They come with little T-handles that are stored inside. You give it a quick little quarter crank and that thing is locked down. And look at that. That is a good looking rig right there. Now this, you know, we're outside of the realm of half ton towing. I hope no one is that foolish. Um, the, uh, let's see, baggage doors, they've all got uh, compression latches, they've all got protected hinges, so that this thing's going to last longer. This has a PVC roof membrane, which is awesome, because those do not, um, uh, what I want to say, they don't generate, like, black streaks, because they don't grow black algae. It's more UV reflective, keeps the RV cooler, it stays looking nicer over time. Uh, 16 inch radials and a big old giant heavy duty equal flex suspension on this because this is a big girl and you are going to want it to ride nicely going down the road. Tires look pretty good. Um, looking at these tires, I think this thing spent most of its time parked. Uh, one of the cool things they do on this is this uh, little docking station. You know what I like about it is that it's near the back of the camper because if you look at how most campsites are positioned, if you're in a park, your hookups are like right here. Well, that makes more sense. So many fifth wheels, the hookups are up in the basement. That doesn't make as much sense. I understand why they're there, because from a logistics standpoint, you can't put them anywhere else. But this is where your hookups are. This saves you from always needing that extra 25-foot, 15-foot sewer water, etc. hose. Oh, by the way, automatic leveling. This does have one-touch auto, auto leveling. I should have mentioned that sooner. Now, this is one of the coolest aspects of this floor plan is it has storage galore -age. It is just, it's massive. I mean, you could use it for moving kayaks. Uh, it's got its own built-in fishing pole holders, which <laughs> I'm actually noticing right now. Uh, apparently somebody left one of their fishing poles in here. So while it is cool for us to be able to demonstrate it's a fishing pole holder, I do not expect this to be included with the RV. I'm gonna take that out to make sure it gets back to the original owner. Cause I'm sure uh, maybe a kiddo or dad or someone's gonna want that thing back. Anyway, so built-in fishing pole storage. Now I'm like 6'3", I can stand under this cover. No sweat, not gonna hit my head, no big deal. Huge storage area and they had a little power outlet here So if you want to put like an outside fridge you can keep all your grilling stuff in here They even recessed this down into a dead part of the chassis to give you maximum ca uh, capacity uh, The uh, like I said you could put some uh, kayaks and stuff up in here You've got dual side access easy access all over the place with more of those handy smart drop down doors now little stuff instead of plastic screw trim, which is more susceptible to heat expansion over time they're using nicer aluminum screw trim so that it, it holds its shape. Now, in terms of insulation, there's pretty much no one that will top the uh, insulation package of an open range. These are beyond zero to 100 degree rated. That's just all that they've actually been cold chambered for. 
uh, but they also maintained the highest testing numbers in that cold camp situation. And part of the reason is not only do they have extra insulation in the roof and in the slides and in the nose cap and everywhere else, they have double the insulation in the floor and they have a cyclical heat system. They don't just have a heated underbelly, they have a cyclical heating underbelly that actually returns up into the, the bathroom floor area so that you have a constant cycle and flow. That's how these guys are able to maintain a better cold camp rating. But that also means that extra insulation package even helps in the summer. There's no time where it doesn't help you. It's just that there are times when it helps you more. So she is clean. She's ready to roll. I can look at the nose. I can see that they were waxing the nose on this. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. All I can guess is maybe the kids are out of the house and they wanted just their own couples coach. That's the only, only reason this thing should ever be here. Because other than that, it can fit so many wants and needs. Now, it's super late model. So it can still qualify for same as new financing, pending finance, obviously. There's a million factors involved in financing. Always keep that in mind. But what's great about this is it's new enough that it still pretty much has all the exact same equipment as a brand new open range. But it's used enough that you are not getting that new RV price tag. You're getting all the thriller, none of the filler. And that's great. So whether it's hitching, pieces, parts, trades, financing, truck and trailer package deals, or everything between, we got you fam, here at Haywood RV. So take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping everyone.